Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 24 inch canvas. I'm going to do an open cup traveling pour. It's my favorite all time pour and just thought I would just do something I really enjoy doing today. Um, my base coat is down. It's Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. All my other paints today I'm using Unicorn Spit. So let's go over the, the colors here. I have Unicorn Spit Molly Red Pepper. Navajo Jewel Teal. And I did lighten this one up a little bit with a little bit of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. I have the Blue Thunder. I have the Zia Teal Turquoise. I have the Phoenix Fire Orange. Uh, and I have a combination of the Lemon Yellow Kiss and then I added just a little dab of the uh, golden gosling to that, just to just to uh, brighten it up a little bit, give it a little bit of zing. Let me tell you a little bit about these uh, unicorn spit paints. They're very thin, but they are very uh, color concentrated, so you don't need a whole lot of paint. Um, they, their quality is just excellent. They, they are a little bit more on the expensive side, but a little bit goes a long way. So my pouring medium today, I'm using the mix with everything, seven part mix to one part paint. And I did thin a little bit with water. Let me show you the consistency here. And I did not use silicone at all, just the paint and the mix in a little bit of water. So let's get started. I have just my little open cup here that I've made. I'm gonna start up here about that area. I'm gonna add a little bit of my white here and hopefully you are in screen. This is such a long oblong canvas that I will try and keep you in frame as much as I can. And I do plan on helping this little cup along because I do want to twirl it a little bit to combine my paints a little more. So let's just get started pouring my paints on here. And I am excited. This is the first time I believe that I'm using the um, mix with the unicorn spit paints. I kept looking at these paints thinking I need to use those, I need to use those. And so today's the day. If I just tip the canvas a little bit, if I can get that to start moving. Put all my colors in there and then I will help it move along here. Oh, it is starting to come underneath the cup. You can see that. I'm just going to give it a little twirl here. Just to incorporate those paints a little bit. Okay. And I just will keep on pouring. This is a fun pour to do. So for you beginning acrylic painters out there, artists, this is a good one to practice with. A lot of fun. See, it is moving by itself here. I will help it along a little bit. Oh, 
and I am hoping to get negative space today. Beautiful colors coming out here. Okay, we'll lay down a little bit more white here to help it out. Then maybe I will even tip my canvas a little bit. Add a little more white here. I guess this is my favorite pour because I just really am always amazed at the results. Okay, let's help it out a little bit more here. You can see how I'm just turning the cup. A little bit at a time here. Adding just a little bit more white here. And a lot of times when you use the um, Unicorn spit paints after your painting is dry and you turn it over on the back of the canvas That paint is so concentrated the color In the paint that it will bleed through onto the back of your canvas and that's normal. I Found that with every painting I've done with the unicorn spit paints Really really beautiful quality in their paints and I do believe that I purchased those online and it's been a long time. I've had them quite a while. Helping it along here, I'm just tipping my canvas a little bit. Tipping some of that paint down. And now I will help it again. Just blending it in here. And now I'm going to add some more.
I'm hoping this is a very bright painting. I'm going to try and change direction here of the paint a little bit. And I may pick my little cup up here and I'm going to start over here on this side again and finish my paints. Just cover a little more area. Just about to the end of the paints here. Okay. And I will add a little bit more white down here. First, I'm going to take it up a little bit. Then we'll bring it back down. Okay, that's that. And then I think I will give it a torch. You can see some bubbles here from moving, moving that around quite a bit. Get my other torch. Beautiful, beautiful so far. I love using the mix. You can just see all the different layers here coming through. And like I said, I do hope that I do have some uh, negative space here. I think that would be very pretty. We'll just see how, how, how it goes. And now I'm going to just do a little bit of tipping. Tip it towards me first. And then I will tip it down and over. I love this area and I do not want to lose that if I don't have to. I'm going to go over this corner here and bring it back. And I have found, and I have mentioned several times during my videos, the more I stretch out the mix, the, the more beautiful effects you get. Let's bring it down this way. And I'll go over that corner. And I'll bring it back. I am going to go over this corner. I have quite a bit of paint on this painting, on this canvas here. And I will bring that back. Okay. I'm just going to take a look at it here. 
check the corners. Take my finger and run it along the bottom here. Beautiful. And I'm thinking if I can very carefully just run this paint off in the center here, I'm going to give that, give it a try. Pull it down first. And then over. And then I'll bring it back and try and get this paint here to go over and bring that back. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Very, very nice. I may run this off this corner a little bit. And then I'll bring it back. And I do apologize for you not seeing all the tipping going on here. Just gonna take a look at it now. It's just beautiful. I really don't think I want to tip anymore. I just, I love the results I have here. And I think I will um, torch it one more time. A few little cells coming up here. And I think that I would turn it this way. And have this be the top. And I'm going to check my corners here. Make sure they're covered in my edges. Just beautiful. I, I'm just really excited to take you down for a close-up here. Okay. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner. You can just see how the mix allows the transparency of these different layers of paint to come through. Just going down the left hand side here, beautiful in here. I did get a few cells. See right in here you can tell with that little bit of red on top, yellow, white, you can see all of those different layers through that paint. It's beautiful. And I'm going to take you over the whole painting because I just think the whole thing is so, so pretty. Some little orange cells here that are cute. Again, you can see the transparency in the layers here in this area. And then other of the stripes are so crisp. Nice cells in here. Very nice in here. See a lot of layers there. And I'm going to take you all the way over to the upper right hand corner now. This is one of my favorite areas, so colorful. This is the upper right hand corner here. That orange is just so vibrant. 
and I'm, I really hope this dries well. And there's the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't, that would be great to help my channel grow. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.